Recording in progress. Good evening, po. Welcome back. <laughs> oh, thank you, po. Thank you. Good evening, thank you. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. <laughs> Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Good evening. Good evening. All right. So we have Good evening Faith, CJ, Tita Bing, Tita Josie, Rachel, Pastor Bert, Allison May, John Marco, Pastor Cled, Giselle, good evening, Edward and Angeli, Shane Almira, Aileen and Daniel. Good evening, good evening. And uh, good evening po, listening, listening po tonight, Rachel. Giselle, good evening po everyone from Giselle. Uh, Rachel, welcome back PJ and Sister Mini. Freshness. <laughs> Hello po from Edder and Angeli. John Marco to everyone. Good evening po, listening din po tonight. Edder and Angeli, listening po tonight. All right. And we have here... Good evening to everyone. Faith Marana and Derek and Jaya. Hello po. Good evening. Listening po tonight. And we have... Sino pa ba? And alright, alright. So, good evening. Good evening sa inyong lahat. Pastor Bong, good evening sa iyo. So, welcome, welcome. Sandali lang. Ayusin lang natin ang ating setup. Good evening, good evening, good evening, Shane. So we have here, double check natin. Okay. Good evening, Tita Bing. Good evening po. Welcome po. Welcome back, PDJ and Sister Mini from Tita Bing. Good evening, good evening po. We have Ingrid and Daniel. We have here... Uh, uh, Derek and Jaya uh, Ayusin lang natin Kali lang po ah And so mahina ang kalaban And then we have here And then Angeli Alright, alright Okay And We have Rachel uh, the being so and raise. All right. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Darren. Uh, good evening, uh, Ava. Magandang gabi sa inyong lahat. All right. All right. Excited to see you guys. And uh, let's start. No, let's start. Siguro, ayusin ko lang tong aking computer. Sandali lamang po. Yan lang ako ng time mag-ayos ng konti. Okay, okay. Alright, alright, alright. Let's uh, share the screen. Oh, wow, may bago tayong ano ha. Ah. Uh, tag nito emblem. <laughs> may bago tayong backdrop. <laughs> Simbang Pinoy, welcome to your Simbang Pinoy. Um uh, welcome to your second day, day 2 of annual prayer and fasting. And uh, tonight we will be led by Pastor Bong. Uh but before we go to Pastor Bong, el um uh, Let's go to our praise report and prayer request. Okay, okay. Praise report and prayer request. So, sino ang magsisimula? May gusto bang mag-volunteer? Alright. 
So let's start with uh, praise support and prayer request. How about uh, Sister Janet? Good evening sa iyo, praise support and prayer request. Ay, magandang gabi po sa lahat. Praise the Lord. Nakauwi na po yung mga bata. Amen. Amidst na nagkaroon po ng konting uh, challenge doon sa kanilang flight kasi naka na sila and then bumalik hmm. ulit yung aeroplano doon sa, sa Naiya after an hour. So, hmm. na-delayed sila pero at least sabi ko sa kanila na-delay pero at least they are safe. So, yun po. Mm-hmm. Kaya sinundo na po namin sila kanina Supposedly kanina umaga yung dating nila Pero at least ngayon pong hapon nandito na So salamat po sa Panginoon At least kahit delayed lang Wala naman pong masamang nangyari Doon sa kanilang flight Amen, yeah. amen O nga pala, ang naiya ay uh, Binago nila yung pangalan eh. Iba yung nandun, eh. nakalagay Manila International Airport Authority So Marcos kasi nakaupo Kaya <laughs> binago nila yung pangalan ah. <laughs> Apo. So yeah, uh, we missed them last uh, New Year, no? Uh, di kami nagkita. Anyway, uh, praise the Lord that uh, at uh, okay ang lahat. Thank you, Apo. Sister Janet. Uh, let's go now to Good evening, Mona Vince. Good evening, Sister LV. Good evening, sa you. Okay, Sister Faith, your turn. Good evening sa iyo. Hello po. Uh, good evening to everyone. Good evening. Uh, a praise report po sa family po, yung kapatid ko, kasi we've been praying for a break for Hazel, like uh, act, sa kanya pong pagiging artista, theater actress mm. po. So we're grateful kasi ano po, mahigpit po yung screening sa isang play po na inaplayan niya at natanggap po siya yung one more chance the musical po with Ben oh. Ben so ang dami po nag audition as in mga sikat pa pong artista yung mga kasama naka nakalaban niya for the for the role tapos mm-hmm. grateful po kami na siya po yung nakuha oh, sample so sample naman ng sikat na artistang nakalaban hindi ko po hindi <laughs> ba po pwede i-disclose eh Ah, hindi pa pwede. February pa po kasi, <laughs> oh, ay, hindi niya pa rin dinidisclose sa akin. Ah, okay. February okay. pa po kasi i-release daw yung parang yung official list po nung mga natanggap. So, favor po talaga from the Lord. So, we're grateful to that. Tapos, si Mama po, uh, masaya po kami kasi nakakapahinga po siya ngayon. Sa, tulog po siya ng tulog sa Pilipinas. So, oh. Nakakapahinga po talaga siya ngayon. Gumagala, kasalukuyan po siyang gumagala. So, mm-hmm. masaya, masaya po siya. And protection din po sa amin ni Stephen. Uh, grateful po kami sa sa work niya. Masaya naman po siya. Tsaka, ayun po. Uh, prayer, siguro yung prayer request po ay uh, wala pong magkakasakit sa ating lahat. Kasi yung panahon po ay... Sobrang lamig po ngayon eh. So, yun din po. Uh, yun, yun, yun lang ko naman po. Tsaka ano po, uh, last semester ko po ngayon ng pag-aaral. Medyo mm-hmm. matrabaho po kasi yung remaining courses ko. Yun lang po. For grace, grace po sa pag-aaral. At pag-aaral po. Yun lang po. Thank you po. Alright. Thank you. And uh, we have here a praise report. Uh, from Rachel praise report nakawi po uh, nakawi na po ang giwas and dangawens praise report thank you lord uh, prayer request uh, nawa po magkaroon po ng true worshipers to be member of praise and worship team and unlad ayan no for the coming 2024 maganda yung nakita ko nakalagay new era ah, maganda yun eh. so let's expect the best no from the lord From Edder and Anjali to everyone, uh, praise report. Nothing in particular, but still alive and well. Thanks to Jesus, uh, prayer request uh, pre- uh, uh, for a successful wedding, good health for everyone, new and better uh, paying job uh, in God's time, uh, for unbelievers to uh, believe, special, especially Edder's relatives and uh, some of my family members. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, we have Joshua. Good evening sa iyo. Good evening. Good evening. And uh, we have here Jairus. Good evening, Jai. And Justin. Good evening. So, 
Alright. And John Marco Praise Report. My schedule na po of CT scan ng grandmother ko po. Amen. Amen. Wow. We speak uh, of healing for your grandmother, uh, uh, John Marco. All right. Uh, good evening. Good evening. Uh, sabi dito, good evening everyone. Prayer request po is uh, good health for everyone. Uh, sabi ni Joshua Guerrero. Si, all right. Uh, alam mo ba, ang ibig sabihin ng Guerrero ay warrior. So, uh, you are a warrior, Joshua. No. So, Justin, good evening. Uh, all right. Listening to Justin. Good evening, good evening. Okay, who else? Uh, so, let's go. Thank you, Tito Faith. And now, let's go now to Carl James. Good evening, Carl James. Good evening, Carl James. Good evening po sa ating lahat. Um, hmm. pray, uh, praise report. Ayun po. Um, thank you the Lord for continuous blessings po and binibigay sa ating buhay. And lahat po ng provisions binibigay po niya. Um, prayer request po is yung um, kagalingan po sa lahat po ng may sakit ngayon and yung um, yung mga papeles ko po sana uma, uh, hopefully umaandar po siya uh, um, umaandar po siya current um, sa ngayon po so papatuloy pa rin po pinipipray ko po na um, na tuloy-tuloy na po yung yung process so yun po thank you pa Thank you, Carl James. Uh, we have here uh, Vince to everyone. Praise support. My parents made it safe to the Philippines. Uh, pray request good health for myself and everyone and for my lower back. All right. Uh, let's pray for that, Vince, later for your lower back. Okay. Good evening, Tita Josie. We miss you. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, po, Pastor. Welcome back. Po. Thank Salamat you. Thank po. you. <laughs> uh, praise report po. Uh, salamat po, nakabalik po kayo ng safe, pati po mga dangawin, sister. Salamat po. At uh, salamat. Uh, yung pag-iingat din po yung mga iba nating uh, mga kapatiran na nasa Pilipinas. Pag-iingat po sa kanila. Salamat din po, Panginoon, sa mga pag-iingat sa ating lahat. At ang prayer request ko po, kagalingan ng mga kapatiran din na may mga, mga sakit. Sila Jasmine, sila Tita Rose at ang buong sambahayan nila. Kagalingan mm -hmm. po. Ayun lang yeah. po. Salamat. Amen. Para kompleto tayo sa Sunday, ano po? Opo, para makasama namin sa mga pihingi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Opo. So, Salamat po. Thank you, Tita Josie. Good evening uh, from uh, Aileen and Daniel. Uh, praise support. We are healthy. God always provides for our needs. Uh, prayer request that no one gets sick in this cold weather. Oh, napakalamig. Eh. Oh, at uh, nako sa Korea napakalamig. Uh, so kagabi lamig din ano sa LAX. So good evening, good evening. Uh, Pastor Bert, good evening. Namis kita Pastor Bert. It's your good turn. Gabi po. <laughs> yeah. <Good evening. laughs> uh, prayer request. Uh, the same po siguro uh, sa ngayon marami po yung out of state at uh, marami yung nagbibiyay and praying as well my my son uh, with his wife eh, nagta-travel din sila nasa Florida and they're coming back I pray na to everyone who are right now uh, traveling either by land or by air na sila maging safe and they can uh, arrive Well, and uh, uh, yun nga na maganda ang kanilang uh, pagdating. Um, prayer request, uh, guro yung uh, the church that we will grow uh, again as well. Na sabi ko na, na not only in numbers but we will grow mature in, in our faith. And as well, to reach out our, the community. Uh, yan lang po siguro pa for now yung aking uh, prayer request. And as well, let's pray for the peace and uh, yung kapaligiran natin, especially what's happening right now sa, sa Middle East or in part of uh, uh, North Africa. Kasama na po yung Israel. 
Thank you, Pastor Bert. Uh, we have here a message from uh, Ava. Praise support. Uh, finished a test earlier po and answered everything well as well as having a good day at school. Wow. Pray, a prayer request to finish uh, this semester with good grades and finish college applications on time and get in a good university and safety and good health for my family here and in the Philippines. Po. Thank you, Ava. Let's pray for that later on. Uh, good evening, Anastasio family. Your turn. Kamusta si Jasmine? Balita ko may sakit daw. Nakakasakit din pala magaganda. <laughs> <laughs> Um, praise report po, mas better na po ako ngayon. Nakakalakad na ako ng maayos-ayos. Amen. Thank you kay Lord na hindi niya ako hinayaan na ma-wheelchair. Mm -hmm. Kasi talagang yung aking sayati ka, Pastor, eh, bumalik. Mm -hmm. Ika mag kasi. So, yun po. Uh, prayer request na lang po is uh, complete healing na lang po sa akin. First report, pumasok na sila. At saka, praise report din po, nag-start na po sila na yung ngayong araw na to na sana po lahat po wala magkakasakit, uh, safe po lahat, lalo na sa panahon ngayong 2024. Yun lang po. Thank you po. Amen. Thank you, Sister Jasmine and regards to Aldrin and the entire family. Good evening, good evening, Giselle. How are you? I miss you, Giselle. Hi, BJ. I miss you. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> um, praise your part po. Praise the Lord po for this time as I, I align myself with God po since wala po akong social media at the moment. Sobrang na-enjoy ko po ang pagbabasa ng Bible. Sobrang Amen. interesting at intense po pala talaga ng mga kaganapan. And prayer request po, continuous healing po sa mga may sakit pa din para po buo na po tayo sa Sunday. Yan lang po. Amen. Praise the Lord. Sana nga no, sa Sunday, eh, kompleto tayong lahat. All right. Thank you, Giselle. Uh, Brother Shane and Sister Elmira, good evening sa inyo. It's your turn. Uh, good evening, Pastor. We, um, we press and thank the Lord about um the safety of the family and the good health po na kahit pa paano po hindi po po kami nagkakasakit so when uh also po yung prayer request po um i just got a call this morning from the court of LA uh mm -hmm. Shaylee will be interviewed this coming January 21st 22nd and 23rd mm -hmm. and uh i mean we all know that Shaylee wanted to live here in LA so I hope um I would like to pray that she'll be granted uh, whatever is best interest with her and for her own welfare that um she may live here again in LA so that she can spend time with the family and her cousins. Amen. She need to live back in Los Angeles. All right. Thank you. Thank you Shane. Thank you Pop. Uh, good evening, good evening, uh, Darren. Good evening sa iyo. And good evening kay Noel. And sa dalawang pogi mong anak. Good evening po, Pastor, sa lahat. Uh, praise report po. Um, thank God po at uh, sa patuloy na protection, strength, at provision na ibinibigay ng Panginoon. At despite sa sobrang lamig ngayon, wala pong nagkakasakit sa amin. Apat. So, salamat sa Panginoon. At saka, yung prayer request po, um, um, patuloy na kagalingan para sa uh, sa mga nagkakasakit ngayon. At uh, yung mga upcoming events, plans ng church, uh, naway yung Panginoon manguna at wisdom sa mga uh, nagpaplano ng ano, ng activities for the church. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Darren. Yes, uh, indeed, marami tayong uh, gagawin for 2024 at uh, magkakakita tayo ng maraming kaluluwa at bago mga faces na sa simbahan. So let's uh, continue to smile and greet them. Uh, kumbaga, welcome to the kingdom of God. And of course, syempre, no? uh, warm welcome para sa kanila dahil marami Uh, I can feel it in my bones. Maraming mas mababorn na ganyan ngayon taon na to. Amen. So, from Sister Minerva Giwa, 
pray for the success of the district's uh, visit tomorrow in school. Ah, okay. Merong uh, mag-visit yung district office nila sa school nila. Okay, thank you, uh, Sister Mini. Uh, Sister LV, good evening. Uh, pwede ka ba? O oh, nagda-drive ba ata si Sister LV? Ayun, pwede. Meron po ba kayo? Nagda-drive po. Nagda-drive ah. Ah, sige, uh, pwede po, uh, nagpapasalamat po ako sa Panginoon sa safety po namin na pagbiyahe sa DC. Last Sunday po, nakapalit kami ng safe naman po. Mm-hmm. At uh, we thank the Lord for His ano po, favor at saka yung provisions niya. And mm-hmm. also po, uh, safety po sa ating lahat na wala rin magkakasakit. Ganyan ngayon po talaga yung ating panalangin ngayon kasi marami pong nagkakasakit sa atin. Mm-hmm. So, may the Lord protect us po. Double protection. Ganyan po niya sa atin. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Sister LV. Okay. Good evening, Jai. Jai Rus, uh, good evening. Pwede ka ba? Good evening. Pwede po, Pastor. Good evening. Good evening. Apo. Uh, praise report po. Um, an event po uh, back to school. Amen. Tsaka po... Um, Uh, yung mga provisions po sa family namin. Uh, yung prayer request po ay yung continued na protection po sa aming mga kids sa uh, school. And um, yun po, um, yung sa mga may sakit po na pagkalingin po. Yun po. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Um... We have, oy, abus na ata, abus na ba? Okay, I think we will go now to Pastor Bong. So, for our pagbubulay-bulay sa salita ng Diyos, sa ating devotion, uh, let's go now to Pastor Bong. Good evening, Pastor Bong. I, I miss good you evening, too, Pastor. Pastor Bong. Oh, we miss, we miss you too. Uh, oh. Pastor C. Pastor Norbert, yung kausap kanina, siya ah, yung yun. Ah, okay, okay, okay. okay. Oh, oh, meron ka pang praise support and uh, prayer request, Pastor Bong? Ah, yung sa praise support, Pastor, is uh, kung ano ba yung, uh, yung, uh, safe, yung pamilya mm-hmm. at uh, sana patuloy na kung ano ba uh, gabayan kami sa mga gawain namin. Ang prayer request ay, ay na rin, Pastor, at saka yung uh, kagalingan ng mga kasama natin sa kung ilan ng mga may sakit. Mm-hmm. Then, ah, uh, yung meeting namin tomorrow sa trabaho sana maging kuan ba maayos <laughs> ayun lang pastor salamat thank po you. thank you pastor bong all right good evening pastor bert take it away your turn hey magandang gabi po and welcome to our prayer and fasting for our second day uh, sa gabi pong ito ay uh, ating tunghayan or uh, Uh, buklatan ng ating mga Bible sa uh, John chapter 6 from verse 1 up to verse 35 no at uh, ang bigyan natin focus dito yung when Jesus said I am the bread of life so meron pong ano sa screen natin uh, John chapter 6 kung um, chapter 1 to 35 If uh, I may read before you, and if you have your Bible, kung meron po kayo mga Biblia na hawak-hawak ngayon, sundan lang po natin yung pagbabasa natin sa John chapter 6, verses 1 to 35. King James po yung babasahin ko. At uh, I hope uh, oh, we have here. Uh, yan na. Lumitaw na dito. Uh, Uh, okay, so Christian Standard Bible, if we have King James. Uh, okay. Ayan po. Sige. Thank you, Pastor. Okay, let's read together, no? John chapter 6, verse 1 to 35. After these things, Jesus went over the Sea of Galilee, which is the Sea of Tiberias. And a great multitude followed him 
because they saw his miracles, which he did on them that were diseased. And Jesus went up into a mountain, and there he sat with his disciples. And the Passover, a piece of the juice, was nigh. When Jesus then lifted up his eyes, and saw a great company come unto him, he said unto Philip, When shall we buy bread that this may eat? And this he said to prove him, for he himself knew what he will do. Philip answered him, Two hundred penny worth of bread is not sufficient for them, that every one of them may take a little. In verse 8, one of his disciples, Andrew Simon Spears' brother, said unto him, There is a lad here which had five barley loaves and two small pieces, but what are they among so many? And then in verse 10, Jesus said, Make the men sit down. Now there was much grass in the place. So the men sat down in number about 5,000. And Jesus took the loaves. And when he had given thanks, he distributed to the disciples. And the disciples, to them that were set down, and likewise of the pieces as much as they would. Verse 12, when they were filled, he said unto his disciples, gather up the fragments that remain, that nothing be lost. So merami pong uh, sobra, no? Dun sa mga pinagkalob ng Panginoon sa kanila, ng mga tinapay at mga yung mga isda, at marami pa yung natira. Verse 13, therefore they gathered them together and filled them 12 baskets with the fragments of the burly loaves which remain over and above unto them that had eaten. Yan po yung kanina. Then those men, when they had seen the miracle that Jesus did, said, This is of a true that prophet that should come into the world. No? Ala nila, propeta lang si Jesus. But when Jesus therefore perceived that they would come and take him by force to make him a king, he departed again into a mountain himself alone. And when even was now come, uh, his disciples went down unto the sea and entered into a ship and went over the sea toward Capernaum. And it was now dark, and Jesus was not, was not come to them. Verse 18. And the sea arose by reason of great wind that blew, so that when they rowed about five and twenty or thirty furlongs, they see Jesus walking on the sea and drawing nigh unto the ship, and they were afraid. Verse 20, But Jesus, or but he said unto them, Jesus said unto them, It is I, be not afraid. Then they willingly, in verse 21, receive him into the ship, and immediately the ship was at the land whither they went. Verse 22, The day following, when the people which stood on the other side of the sea, so that there was none other boat there, save the one wherein to his disciples were entered, and that Jesus went not with his disciples into the boat, but that his disciples were gone away alone. Verse 23, How be it there came other boats from Tiberias, not I unto the place where they did eat bread after the after that the Lord had given thanks. When the people therefore saw that Jesus was not there, neither his disciples, they also took sitting and came to Pernum seeking for Jesus. Verse 25. And when they had found him on the other 
side of the sea, they said unto him, Rabbi, when camest thou hither? Jesus answered them and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, you seek me not because you saw the miracles, but because you did eat of the loaves and were filled. Iba pala yung kanilang motibo, ano? Then in verse 27, Labor not for the meat which perisheth, but for the meat which is endure unto everlasting life, which the Son of Man shall give unto you for him, and God the Father sealed. Then verse 28, Then said they unto him, What shall we do that we may we might work the works of God? Then Jesus answered and said unto them, This is the work of God, that you believe on him whom he had sent. They said therefore unto him, What sign showest thou then? that we may see and believe thee what thou thou work. 31. Our fathers did eat manna in the desert as it is written. He gave them bread from heaven to eat. Then, magkikita natin dito, Jesus corrected them. Then Jesus said to them, Verily I say, or very, verily, I say unto you, Moses gave you not the bread from heaven, but my Father gave it to you the true bread from heaven. Verse 33, For the bread of God is he which cometh down from heaven and giveth life unto the world. At yan po ang ating Panginoon mismo, ano? And then in verse 34, Then they said, Unto him, Lord, evermore, give us this bread. Talagang gutom sila. Ang gusto nila, ang tinapay nito na hindi nauubos. Then and lastly, sa verse 35, dito sila na surprise. Ang sinabi ni Jesus, Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. Amen. Tayo po ay sumandaling manalangin at tumingi ng kaalaman at patnubay sa Panginoon at tayo po ay pagpalain sa pagkabasa ng kanyang salita sa gabing ito. Dakilang Diyos, aming Ama, na puspos ng pag-ibig, kami po ay lumalapit po upang humingi Panginoon ng panyong patnubay at aming dalain sa gabing ito sa aming pangalawang araw ng aming pag-ayuno at pananalangin nawa ikaw pa rin ang aming masumpungan sa lahat ng bagay ng aming uh, ginagawa o maging sa aming mga kahilingan, Panginoon. At uh, nawa ang aming mga layunin sa mga araw nito na uh, sumusunod pa sa aming pag -ayuno ay nawa ay mas malalim pa sa aming mga iniisip at uh, ninanais. At nawa ikaw ay mangibabaw sa lahat, Panginoon, ang iyong kalooban. So pagpalayan mo nga ang bawat isa sa gabing ito. Bless each and every one of us tonight as we, O oh God, uh, study your words or expound your words. Truly indeed, you are our teacher tonight, so be our guide, Holy Spirit, in our midst. Salamat po, Panginoon. This we ask in Jesus Christ's name. Amen and amen. Okay, so tonight, na ang nabasa po natin, I believe it's a continuation, ano? Yung po kung if you are uh, if you are here last night uh, in the our group of passing and prayer, Pastor Cled mentioned about uh, when Jesus uh, had compassion uh, to the people when they're following him in Mark chapter 6. If I'm not mistaken, sinulat ko yung text niya. Mark 6, 38-39. At binigyan niya ng title na Rest in God's Love. no? Because when Jesus saw them, he told 
them to, and his disciples instructed the people that following him to sit down and just uh, on the, those hill, hilly mountains or hill, hilly place. And there are a lot of grass and they sit down and he ordered his disciples to give them food. And we know and we know that uh dali lang po namamatay na po yung king <laughs> laptop baka please god dali lang po oh sorry sorry okay i have to iyan ko lang po itong ano ko para hindi mamatay yung ano sorry po <laughs> dali lang po yeah nauubusan na ng battery Okay. Okay. Sana po tayo. Uh, sana ako na huminto. Uh, uh, when the people are uh, following Jesus and it's already almost night time and the disciples wanted them to go home as a uh, to send them home but Jesus told them not to send them away but to give them food okay sorry po <laughs> yeah thank you Jesus yeah Mali po yung cord na nakuha ko. <laughs> okay. Uh, that night, uh, we know na uh, all of them were satisfied because Jesus gave them the food or supplied their needs. Yung pagkain, ano? Na because of that lad who gave us uh, yung baw niya, how many loaves of uh, bread, five and two pieces. At yun po ang naging uh, pagkain nila that time. And here sa ating binasa, if we will uh, look at it, na as if this is the continuation, no? And here we can see that food is the one that they are looking for and that the, uh, they don't see the miracles or they ignore even the the things that Jesus had done. Yung mga tao ay uh, they're only after dun sa benefits, no? For them to be satisfied their appetite o yung kanilang pangangailangan because they are tired and weary and they are hungry so they are only after for that bread, no? So truly indeed we know that uh food or bread is very important no because it uh sustain us our physical body so that uh it will not uh uh hindi manghina not uh get weary and later on kung hindi ka kumakain uh, manghina ka at magkasakit then you will it even leads to death if you don't eat but we can see that uh food is uh really necessary but here we can see ang binibigyan ng emphasis ni Jesus ay yung uh, the eternal value no na uh, yung life or the bread that he is giving is not uh, the bread that uh, that they are looking for na sinabi doon na uh, they eat, they even uh, mention that they uh, their poor fathers or their ancestors, and I believe that is, they are mentioning about Moses uh, when they say that uh, they eat that bread, no, that coming down from heaven, which is the manna, yun ang sinasabi natin na natanggap nila. But Jesus uh, corrected them, no? Alubang verse yun, verse, I believe it's in verse uh, 31. Okay, na sinabi ni Jesus na truly that uh, Moses 
Okay. In verse 31, our forefathers did eat manna in the desert, no? Okay, thank you, Pope Asawa. In the desert, as it is written, he gave them bread from heaven to eat, no? Then Jesus corrected them. Sabi dito na, Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Moses gave you not the bread from heaven. In this Moses ang nagbigay sa inyo, sabi niya. But my father gave it you the true bread from heaven. So dito ay pinapahiwatig na ni Jesus na ang tunay na tinapay na kanilang kinay no tinanggap ay hindi nanggaling kay Moses kundi sa Ama. At ang tinapay nito ay uh, they were surprised no nung sabihin niya na sa verse 35 na uh, the bread that you are looking for, that you are asking for, na in order for you to satisfy your appetite, sabi niya, ay ako yun, sabi niya. Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. No? Okay. So, yun po, na sa gabing ito, na tinuturuan tayo ng Panginoon na uh, if you will read the entire chapter that we must not only after the things that are temporary no? gaya nung hinahanap nila ng mga taong ito na sumusunod sa kanya na yung pagkain na hindi nag, uh, nagtatagal kinabukasan na naman eh, eh, sila'y gugutumin na naman Pero yung sinasabi ni Jesus dito, yung pagkain, the bread that he offer, which is he himself, na kapag ito ay kanilang tinanggap, believe in him, and take him, no, the bread of life, they will no longer get hungry. No? Hindi na sila uh, gugutumin. So, siguro po ang katanungan sa gabing ito, uh, gaano ba tayo ka yung our desire, our hunger for the word of God, no? Yung sinasabi niya dito, yung uh, the bread which is Jesus himself. Hunger more about Jesus who is the bread of life, no? If we hunger so much, yung appetite natin sa mga temporary things like yung kinakain natin o kaya yung mga the things that uh, sustain us, no? Hindi lang sa pagkain, yung mga ibang uh, mga vices natin. <laughs> eh, ito yung nagbibigay ng karagdagang kasiyahan sa atin na which are temporarily. Pero dito yung makikita natin yung binibigay niya ay yung yung pagkain na hindi uh, nasisira at ito ay nagtatagal and it even leads to eternity or eternal life. Ang katanungan eh, siguro sa atin, kaya I have I intend the intention for us tonight na yung binuksan ni Pastor sa atin, yung, yung salita niya, we read from chapter 6, 1 to 35, in order for us to uh uh anito ma ma mawili tayo no na to read the word kasi napansin ko every time now and then yung mga iba hindi nagbubukas ng bible they just uh, depend on the preacher and what the preacher says is that only one that they receive, but they don't really uh, read the entirety or the context, the full context, or the narrative, no? Yung kwento. Minsan yung pa, paano lang, pa, ano ito? Piece by piece lang, no? Hindi yung kabuan, kumbaga. Kaya, sa akin, ano? Uh, I prepare myself for the whole year, gumawa na ako ng schedule ko na sabi nga na to prepare myself for this year uh, na 
dito po nilagay ko yung sa akin sa akin tabi dito sa I have this one no I don't know if you see it for the, the entire year ito yung aking uh, uh, guide na sa aking pagbabasa maliban dun sa personal devotion ko I have that reading for the whole year I hope and pray that I can finish that uh, sometimes I'm not also consistent no inaamin ko na minsan in nag-skip din ako so I pray uh, sa, sa about is sa atin na we have that hunger for the word of God which is the bread of life which is the word of God and the word of God, of God which is Jesus himself kaya ang tanong natin sa God so how much do we hunger for the word of God or how much do we hunger for the person the uh, of Jesus Christ no yung sa ating Panginoon gaano natin siya desire no na to know him more sa buhay natin so yun po siguro yung katanungan ko isa lang gaano ba natin kamahal or uh, yung pag uh, pag ano yun? how we hunger no sa ating Panginoon sa ating buhay pananampalataya do we hunger only for the things that are temporary no yung mga blessing o kaya yung mga bagay na hindi nag uh, nagbibigay ng kasiyahan sa atin ngunit ito ay pansamantala lang or do we hunger for what Jesus offer unto us that bread of life which leads to eternal eternal life or eternity okay yan lang po pastor ang aking uh, maiyatid sa gabi ito nawa tayo po ay mapagpala sa lahat sa ating mga pinag-aralan o binasa sa gabi. Thank you Pastor Bert and uh, thank you for reminding us no uh, about the meaning of uh, the true meaning of the bread of life. Hmm. And uh, dito Pastor Bert no kumbaga makikita natin na napaka practical ng Panginoon kasi hinalid tulad niya yung pangangailangan natin. He uh, kumbaga uh, allow us to see in a perspective that we always need to eat bread no well we he used use he used the bread kasi mm -hmm. as an il illustration kasi ang staple food <clears throat> doon sa region na yon is bread no siguro we can more identify if we will say it rice parang rice is life parang <laughs> and um napakahirap pag hindi ko makain no and uh mm -hmm. and uh, sabi dito uh, ang katanungan ni pastor ay uh, how much do we hunger for Jesus? How much do we hunger for the true bread of life? No, uh, uh, kung baga para mas maintindihan natin, enable for us to understand it more. Jesus, uh, kung baga paralleled it to the basic need of a person, which is obviously to eat, right? Kung baga to to uh, satisfy himself, and uh, kung kailangan natin kumain, if we need to eat the bread of life, uh, to if we need to eat the bread for us to live. Eh, mm -hmm. ganun din yung pangailangan natin sa kanya. The same thing that uh, we need him as the bread of life. Baga, he is the true sustainer. Uh, without him, it is impossible for us to live. No, Actually, he gave us life at the same time when we sinned. He gave us another life when we were forgiven. And uh, he promised us an eternal life no, in heaven. So talaga yung siya yung ano, no, true meaning of bread of life. One good question about Pastor Bert no, sa gabi na to, is that what are you doing no as a person as a christian as a believer uh paano mo how, how how can you show your true hunger no mm -hmm. sa panginoon sa bread of life right uh, what what are the things that you are doing enable for you to pursue and uh, to relieve your uh, to relieve yourself no doon sa hunger na gawa na na, na binibigay ng, ng ng mundo na to and only jesus can Give us the relief. No, we have here some answers, Pastor Bert. To Rachel, uh, to uh, to everyone from Rachel, take away. Kapag kapo nakababad tayo sa gawain ng Dios, ay mas lalong nagiging uhaw pa tayo sa salita at pagibig ng Dios. And through that, Amen. makikita din po uh, ng ibang tao yung kauhawan nat kauhawan natin sa salita ng Dios. Uh, kaya ko oh, dapat busy po tayo to serve Him and to learn his words. No, I would uh, 100% agree with uh, Rachel Dito 
kasi enable for us to quench no the thirst and hunger uh in in our uh pursuit no pursuit sa sa paghahanap sa totoong bread of life para sa akin ano if not for the ministry I'm very thankful that God gave me an opportunity to minister. If not for the ministry, I would be somewhere else probably and doing something else and uh, not focused on you know living a good life, no. Kumbaga, para sa akin, thankful ako because of of the salvation, because of in repentance, pero thankful din ako sa opportunity to serve. Kasi the opportunity to serve para sa akin eh sumasa ngayon ako kay Rachel dahil mas naggo-grow ako eh mas uh, mas uh, dumadami na lalaman ko mas naiintindihan ko yung purpose ko sa buhay so yeah i encourage everyone to serve the lord no and not just uh, sit every sunday but uh, to really serve him uh, with all gladness no from Aileen and Daniel to everyone for me po i admit that i'm still a work in progress uh, one of the things that i want to change this year is to be more intentional especially in reading god's word sometimes the busyness of being a mom takes a toll on me and nawawala na po ako ng time kay god so this year i would like to be more intentional in putting god first and not just give him the leftovers of my time wow that is nice na napaganda and uh, this is a good reminder also that alam nyo ba that January is the National Bible Month no sa Philippines and uh, ina inaalala palagi no uh, naalala ko may sinayin si Senator Pacquiao na yung, uh, officially January is the National Bible Month no at uh, bilang Kristiyano naalala ko na nagsimula ako I always uh, read the Bible Genesis January no and then ang ganda na lang pagdating ng February wala na <laughs> And then uh, na-realize ko, uh, uh, hindi tayo dapat magningas kugon. But uh, if we really want to sustain yung ating growth at uh, mag-grow pa more at makilala natin to uh, to deepen our love, our relationship with God, we need to read the Bible. No? Kung baga, importante yun. Importante yung basahin ng Biblia. At saka syempre, to counter-check din. No? Yung, uh, sabi nga ni Pastor Bert, pag lang basa-basa nakikinig at naniniwala tayo sa preacher, But siyempre, meron din tayong pagkakataon na aralin. Totoo ba yung sinasabi nung, nung nagtuturo sa atin? Mamaya naman ay hindi. Sinacharot lang tayo. Di ba? <laughs> so from John Marco to everyone, my takeaway po is that Jesus is sufficient for us. Devoting our time to reading the Bible and prior prioritizing our quiet time with God shows how hungry we are for His Word and presence. The Bible provides us with God's comfort and promises. It is up to us to read and receive this. This year, I commit to pursuing Jesus and making Him daily my daily priority. It shows that humans cannot handle it independently. Instead, we should re rely on Jesus for everything to receive eternal life through Him. Amen. Thank you, John. Napakaganda nun. Yes, we need to rely on Jesus. No? Kasi, uh, yun na nga, no? uh, kapag... Uh, inaantok ka, nagbasa ka ng Bible, ay minsan matutuloy ka matulog, bukas na amen. Pero if you rely on Jesus, mas maintindihan natin. No? Baga, the Holy Spirit is capable of teaching us and uh, uh, explaining to us yung Word of God. But if you will rely on yourself, nako, it's either possible na mali ang interpretation mo or hindi mo maintindihan or aantokin ka. Yun, makakatulog ka. From Edder and Angeli to everyone, He is forever our provider and will sustain our needs even if sometimes it doesn't seem like it will last or is enough. He will always bless us and as long as we seek Him. I do my best to read the Bible even just for a few minutes. Even with a busy schedule, I try my best to remember that everything I have and everything good that happens is because of God. I want to see Him and really feel his presence and the only way to experience it experience it is to always pray talk to him and always just keep to and and always just to keep him in our minds and our hearts i'm still learning and growing and uh, want to be really close to him kasi po gusto ko makapunta sa heaven also happy to serve god even if it's uh, through food and volunteering for the sinag sana na-answer ko po ang question. Amen. Na-answer mo ang question, uh, Sister 
Angeli. That was good, no? So, um, thank you. Thank you very much. Talo na for volunteering sa Sinag at saka sa Piging. From faith, Maranan, to everyone, take away it is uh, only Jesus who can satisfy our hunger. No money, relationship, achievement, level of success, or material things can satisfy us. Sasaya tayo, pero it is only temporary and will eventually wear off. Also, to go to the Also, to go to the Bible for instructions and guidance every day. My prayer po this year is to be more consistent waking up early to study my Bible, worship, and spend time with Jesus. To be more diligent in memorizing verses too and meditating it before sleeping too. Ayan. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Napakaganda naman ng mga sinabi ninyo. Okay, uh, let's go now to uh, CJ. Anything that you want to add or you want to uh, say or any takeaway or you want to answer the question of Pastor Bert? Uh, good evening po. Um, mm-hmm. eh, may sinusulat lang po, pinafinalize ko lang po. Eh, awesome. Batapos na po sa pagtatype, sorry po. Pero um, awesome. eh, okay lang po, ay nawala. Pero yun. Ah, uh, sige po. Cancelin ko na lang. Um, nawala po kasi sa chat. So, para sa akin po, kagaya po na naman siyang kanina, Jesus is um the the bread of life. So, mm-hmm. and just like it was mentioned a while ago, um eating bread is very essential sa pamumuhay natin. It, it's um or basically eating is one of the ways very important ways for us to Um, to survive and live our daily lives every day. So just like um, how Jesus represented himself as the bread, it is essential for us to include Jesus in our daily lives. So in every um, um, big decisions in our lives or even the, just the smallest ones, basta we will include um, Jesus always in our lives. So um, by doing the essentials, yung, um, take for going to church, serving in the ministry and everything. Um, one a more personal note, um, What I do is more on to satisfy hunger is siguro now it's not just like reading the word and reading the whole chapter and everything. But um I think what I'll try to do to to um this year is siguro um to talk to more people yung with regards uh, um with regards to parang mapapag usapan yung tukot sa nabasa mo. Parang gano. So I think parang yun yung gusto ko po simulan uh, pagka Magka, magka-gather kami ni PR at ni Ate Wave. I think it's one of the things na gusto ko pong simulan this year na mapag-usapan kung ano yung takeaways or parang in a way it also teaches us to uh, also prepare us to share also to other people na um, lang alam sa Bible and everything. So I think that's um, my personal um, take on this verse. So yun pa. Thank you pa. So mas gusto mo yung kumbaga Uh, theory and practice na to share it na parang ganun. Yeah, that's good. Okay, thank you CJ. Uh, we have here from Allison. Uh, my takeaway po is to show the hunger is to stay in the presence of the Lord by being faithful. Faithfully doing daily devotion, listening and thinking thoroughly Uh, about the message heard every Sunday or Friday Friday's clusters, the clusters, faithfully serving and glorifying His kingdom through ministry, service, and uh, knowing the real reason why to follow Jesus is knowing that to only follow Him through the good but also through the challenging times. Thank you, Allison. All right. Uh, who else? Ava, do you have something in mind, Ava, you want to share? Good evening, good evening. Um, yung takeaway ko po ngayon is that na si God po is our number one provider na no matter what happens po, um, mm-hmm. He will always provide. I, kaya po, even though na the, we can choose to sacrifice a little bit, it, it will show a huge um, thank or gratefulness po towards Him and everything He has done. And by acknowledging this, na he is our number one provider, I, I think everything that we want will be satisfied as well. Amen. Thank you, Sister Ava. Okay, Tita Janet, good evening. Uh, do you have something in mind, takeaway, or you want to answer the question of Pastor Bert?
to Sir Janet. Good evening. Okay, balikan natin si Sister Janet. Let's go to Sister Josie. Sister Josie, good evening. Uh, para po sa akin, uh, uh, kung tayo po, kumakain ng ilang beses po tayong kumakain, apat na beses, kung isa, anim na beses, <laughs> dapat po yung ating, isa <laughs> sampu pa, yung po ating spiritual na buhay, dapat po, eh, pinakakain din po natin para lumakas po tayo sa pamagitan ng mga Uh, pagbabasa ng Bible, tama po si Pastor Robert, uh, at uh, pag-attend ng mga services, at uh, pakikinig ng mga salita ng Diyos. Doon po, lalakas po ang ating spiritual na buhay. Yan lang po. Amen. Thank you, Sister Josie. Okay, balikan natin ang mga dangawin sa Kuya Manny, Sister Janet. Good evening. Magandang gabi po, Pastor. Uh, sa akin naman po, I started to make journal and uh, the very first day of the year in po aking Bible verse is uh, Luke 4 verse 18 to 19 na sabi po doon na uh, um the Lord has binalimutan ko nag-start na rin po ako mag-memorize ng verse pero ang ginagawa ko po kasi <laughs> ang hirap po magtanda if in, naka nakapaskil po doon sa door yung aking mga prayer request for this year And then, dapat pinapakain din natin. Totoo po 'yan. Uh, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Yun yung, yung pala yun, yun simula yun. The spirit of the Lord is upon me and he anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. Uh, he has sent me to heal the whole of the brokenhearted, something ganun pa. So, talagang we really have ako po personally I have to be intentional kasi yun nga po, uh, ang tendency ko is to tend to wonder. Kaya sa akin po, isa sa mga learning nuggets ko is to uh, to be evident yung mga ano. Nagpapaskill po ako ng mga Bible verse anywhere na sa nakikit. Let's say, yun doon po sa notebook ko, sa cellphone, sa pinto. This year po, dahil doon sa 5784, sa Hebrew calendar, sabing ganun, the, the meaning of four is an open door. Kaya yung aking mga prayer request sa Panginoon, nakapost doon sa pinto yung aking mga gusto ko pong makitang ma maganap this year like yung mga uh, sa pag-aral po ng mga anak ko, mga provision, mga prayer request ko sa Panginoon. I-start ko na po 'yan, nakalagay sa pinto. So each and every day, kumbaga uh, maliliit lang pong mga subo kasi kapag ka po masyadong marami, hindi ko po kayang kainin lahat. So bit by bit po lang 'yon para maging consistent po ako for the whole year. I just start to uh, make journal, I just start to uh, pray and then I start to just uh, uh, send a word of encouragement to anyone for the day kung sino po yung pwede kong encourage for the glory of God and to pray for that person unintentionally. Ilamang po, marami pong salamat. Magandang gabi po sa lahat. Amen. Amen. How about you? Okay, Manny, meron ka bang idadagdag? <laughs> okay na po. Okay. Copy-paste. <laughs> Speaking of journal, meron ako ditong journal na Church of the Nazarene Journal. Yan. Ano to, uh, bago, wala pang laman to. So, if any one of you uh, wish to uh, na subukan itry mag-journal, kasi we encourage everyone na mag-journal, no? kung ano yung sinasabi ng Panginoon sa inyo sa tuwing umaga, or every Sunday sermon, or declusters, meron talagang mga nuggets of wisdom, or nuggets of truths na nakuha kayo sa Panginoon. Eh, first to claim, kung sino yung may gusto nito, I'll bring this on Friday and it's yours. No? Uh, wala pang laman yan, bago pa. So, at Church of the Nazarene, journal siya. So, sabi nyo lang, uh, mag- mag-comment lang kayo dun sa may, ano, sa may message. Sabi nyo, uh, I'd like to have it. And then, sino mauna, it's yours. Okay? Thank you. And uh, let's go now to Vince. Good evening, Vince. Are you still there, Vince? Okay, balikan natin si Vince. Jazel, good evening. Evening po. Um, for me po, as I start reading the Bible, yung hunger ko po sa word niya is now on a deeper level. Sabi ko nga po sa kids nung Friday during the clusters, um, reading the word plainly is um, way different than understanding every single details, especially the small ones. So that is my goal po, to satisfy that hunger is to Um, just make an effort 
to understand and also to apply the truth of the Bible. So, yun po, we should not live in um in denial na ay sige, baka kailangan ko lang si Jesus partly or dito lang sa area ng buhay ko na to. But yun po, no, we should admit our deeper hungers and declare na we have Jesus to satisfy those hungers confidently. And gaya din po ng sinabi ni ate, to make myself busy through serving him. So yung combo po na yun, no, reading his word and um serving him would just satisfy the hunger in our lives. And we can also touch um the people around us to seek him, like how we are seeking him. So yun lang po. Amen. I, 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 I agree, no, 100% agree kasi if you make yourself busy in serving God yung probability of sinning na babawasan or probably magzi zero out no so if you are very focused and very busy in serving the Lord no kumbaga ang ministry mo here there everywhere you know uh, busy ka talaga in uh, talagang na uh, you are a soldier of God no talagang gusto mo madaming matangay sa kaluluwa sa 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 langit eh mapapansin mo wala kang time talaga na na magsugal or magbisyo or mag kasi nga yun yung focus mo sa buhay no? so nakakatulong siya uh, hindi naman yun yung inyong intensyon pero yun yung parang bonus no? thank you Giselle all right we have here from Vince uh, my takeaway is God is our provider and giving our time to him whether it's listing uh, or sorry, listening or reading his word. Uh, this year, I want to not just only read the Bible, but understand what he is telling us. Amen, Vince. I'm so blessed uh, with your life, Vince. Thank you. God bless you. Okay, let's go now to the Mondias. Good evening, Shane and Almira. Good evening. Any takeaway? Yes, um, Pastor, actually, um. I just shared it to my family um last week about you know reading the Bible. Um as people we keep on saying to put God's God first in our life. But the thing is we never take time to read our Bible. So the question is, let's say if we die, if God is gonna ask us, did you take time to know me? So how can we know God if we don't read the Bible? Because that's the only way to know him. So I'm encouraging my family to take time to read the Bible and um, me as well um, and to serve the Lord because in every book, uh, in every book of the Bible, it always says serve the Lord, you know, make disciples and stuff like those. So hopefully I can give more time to the church and be as early as I can there so that I can serve the Lord and, you know, and also give more time as a family, to read the Bible and bring my family closer to the Lord. Amen. Thank you. Because we can learn more about God through listening, through watching, or whatever. But uh, it, I agree. No? It would be impossible to to know the Lord without reading the Bible. <laughs> ano yan? Kung baga basic na basic yun. Di ba? Parang uh, paano ka makikipagpwentuhan sa kaibigan mo kung di mo naman napanood yung movie. Di ba? Parang ganun yan eh. So kailan you, you need to be you need to immerse yourself you know magbabad ka sa salita ng Diyos. Thank you. Thank you Shane. Okay, we have here uh from uh, Aldrin and Jasmine we agree po that Jesus is the bread of life and only him can satisfy our hung, 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 hunger and thirst and thirst uh, uh, our hungry and thirsty soul. Uh, having our daily devotion, reading the Bible, praying, serving at church are all essential. But fellowship and discipleship are also important to encourage each other and remind one another that God is always good and faithful. Oh, no, importante ang discipleship for us to grow and importante rin ang fellowship for us to uh, remain strong. No? Um, kumbaga, patuloy na nagiinit, nag-aalab ang pag-ibig sa Panginoon. Uh, from Sister Josie, uh, continue to work and go along with godly people to avoid being contaminated with worldly uh, action or thoughts. Oh, yeah, tama yun, tama. Amen, amen. So ako nga, isang realization ko, no, nung umuwi ako sa Pilipinas, sabi ko, namimiss ko ang church ka ako. Kasi, uh, kumbaga, nasanay na rin ako na 
ang lahat kong kasama mga taga church and uh, kumbaga uh, it keeps me uh, mag- merong comfort ako hindi ko mapaliwanag na nakukuha sa mga kapwa ko kristyano no so yun i agree with that thank you po uh, si sir Darren good evening any uh... hey, good evening po pastor ah, sa akin po pastor or um yung para mas masatisfy po yung hunger ko sa word ng Panginoon. Yung, even though every Sunday napapakinggan ko yung preaching niyo po, uh, inuulit ko pa rin siya pagdating ko sa bahay or the next day po. At yung ginagawa ko po, um, um, sinisearch ko pa, ko pa yung verse. Kasi gusto ko po talaga ma, ma, maintindihan yung verse po at saka... Um, gusto ko yung ma-internalize ma- ba sa sa sarili ko na ay ganito pala siya ay ganito pala yung ano so yung pastor pinapakinggan ko ulit yung mga preaching mo po uh, every every in one week uh, isang araw yun lang po Amen Thank you Thank you Sister Darren Oo uh, That's true It's not enough sometimes na pakinggan lang natin sa pulpit no uh, maganda rin na uh, ginagamit natin siya as our daily devotion no lalo na pag nagda-drive ka at traffic no we have a podcast no pwede niyo pakinggan no and meron tayo ano Facebook no click niyo lang ang ganda nga ng technology ngayon eh. pwede mong balikan Alright? nung araw ha nung araw pag nag-preach ka yun na yun wala nang ano wala nang ulit-ulit <laughs> as is na yun Uh, tapos na uso nung 1990s yung uh, tine, ano nire-record sa tape no so pwedeng bumili ng tape from the church no at binibili pa pala no naalala ko no yung tape para pa, pa, para i-play mo doon sa kotse mo or wherever sa cassette mo pero ngayon everything is for free just go to YouTube or Facebook or uh, uh, Spotify thank you sister Darren uh, Jai Jairus good evening any uh, input or takeaway Good evening po. Um, ako naman po ang aking ginagawa po uh, para masatisfy yung uh, hunger, spiritual hunger. Um, yung daily devotion, I do it uh, before I even walk sa, walk in sa work. Mag-time in sa work po every day para magbigyan po ako ng peace and mag-guide po sa uh, mga sasabihin ko. Especially sa mga mga kabataan po. Sa so, John Day, o? Oh. Apo. Mabigyan ako ng grace ni God everyday. Um, Challenging yung ano mo. <laughs> parang apo. teacher din. Yes po. Um, tapos, um, I surround myself with people who, even sa work po, I select my my friends tsaka po sa um, pang-araw-araw na buhay yung mga taong pinaka sa lamuhaan ko po. Pinipili ko po yung mga tao na kumakain ng parehas na pagkain na kinakain ko po. Spiritually. Mm-hmm. Uh, mas masaya po kasi yung pag kumakain ka, yung, yung pare-pares kayo natatakam sa parehas na pagkain po, which is the word of God. Um, nagkakaintindihan po kayo eh, na mas masarap po yung kumain ng may kasama. Hindi lang yung nag-iisa po. Tapos, um, kagaya po nung sa asawa ko po, um, inuuna ko po sa schedule ko palagi yung um, pag-serve kay Lord and improving myself um, para mas ma- mag-level up po sa lahat ng aspect na ginagawa ko for the church um, para po may ma-share po ako sa mga mas nakakabata po sa akin. Ayun lamang po. Amen. Thank you. I, I agree, no? Uh, uh, hindi na, uh, tinawag tayo na maging magiliw sa lahat. But hindi naman natin kailangan maging close sa lahat. no? Uh, makipag-close lamang doon sa mga tao na makakatulong sa inyo sa paglago ninyo. No? Uh, pero syempre, kaibigan ni lahat. Mag- be nice to everyone. No? Pero hindi lahat ay close tayo kasi uh, ma- kasi pagka-close ka dun sa tao, 
that person can affect you. No? So, tama yun. Si taming sinabi ni Jai, uh, makiki, uh, magiging close ka lang sa tao, doon, sa katulad ng tao na pares kayo ng kinakain spiritually. So, that's good. No? Uh, I agree with that. Pastor Bong, good evening. Uh, good evening, Pastor. Good evening sa inyo lahat. Sa akin, Pastor, ang takeaway ko, no? Uh, phys- uh, physical food is important, no? Para mag-sustain yung um, body needs natin, um, yung strength natin sa pang-araw-araw. Uh, pero, mas important natin naman yung spiritual food sa uh, ating uh, spiritual life. Dahil ang kaway natin is a spiritual warfare. Mga <clears throat> natin, ang uh, inaata inaata kita ng kaaway sa mga uh, things that are beyond our control pero it's only God who get uh, who could uh, sustain us so sa akin pastor is uh, I need to know him more uh, to know Jesus more through lead, uh, reading his words tapos uh, listening so marami tayong Uh, resources sa uh, Kwan through uh, radio program, uh, different uh, um, pastors. Uh, then uh, we have this uh, daily meditation. And uh, next thing is uh, knowing him more and um, letting him know say ba naman sharing. Uh, sh- uh, share the gospel to others. para makilala rin nila at the same time uh, for, for their salvation. Ayun sa akin, Pastor. And thank you. Ika nga, making, uh, knowing him and making him known. Di ba? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Tayo po'y dumako sa ating panalangin. Kung meron po kayong nasa isip or nasa puso at uh, baga, the Holy Spirit is encouraging you to pray for it, No, meron po tayong popcorn prayer. Just uh, just utter it in prayer and uh, we will agree with you also. And uh, I will lead uh, doon sa prayer list natin na sinabi nyo uh, kagabi at ngayong gabi. And if there's anything that uh, I missed, uh, please uh, feel free na ipanalangin natin ngayong gabi. Panalangin po tayo. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord God, for you are our God, uh, Our source of strength, Lord God. Um, kayo po ang aming bread of life, our provider. Um, maraming salamat po sa mga sacrifices ninyo, Panginoon. For tonight, Lord God, we want to confess our sins, Lord, uh, and everything that uh, we said, we thought of, and we did, Lord God. Actions, Lord God, that are not pleasing in your sight. We ask for forgiveness, and we pray, Lord, that... Uh, You cleanse us, Lord God, by your blood. And uh, also, Lord God, uh, we just want to say, we, we just, we just want to say we're forever grateful to you uh, with all your provisions, with all with all uh, everything that we're receiving from you and uh, your protection. Uh, you are doing to us individually, as a family, and uh, as well as a church, as a LA Filnaz, uh, how you are growing the church, continue growing the church, and you have... a great new era ahead of us for this 2024. Uh, we're so thankful, Panginoon. Maraming maraming salamat sa kabutihan mo sa amin. How you are handling the leadership, the our, how you are handling yung mga, day, uh, mga daily church activities namin. We're so thankful and, and uh, we love you, Lord God. And, and uh, for tonight, we have some supplications, mga ka- Kahilingan namin, Panginoon, na nais namin idulog sa inyo. Talangin namin, Panginoon, ang mga sumusunod. Panginoon, we pray for Shaylee, Panginoon, na ma-approve, Lord God, ng court uh, for her to live back in uh, Los Angeles, Panginoon. Uh, may all the relationships will be uh, uh, be restored, Panginoon, at uh, no, no angry hearts, Lord God, but uh, only loving hearts for you. And uh, only the best for Shaylee will be uh, will surface out, Lord God, because that is your will. We also lift up to you, Panginoon, si Sister Jasmine, uh, who's uh, suffering a lower back, Lord God, and left leg pain, Lord God, and uh, sayati ka, Panginoon. 
We speak of healing today, Lord God, and we thank you for the recovery and experience. Yeah. But uh, for tonight, we are declaring complete healing. Uh, she'll be back on her feet, Lord God, back to work. Uh, back as uh, uh, serving you on Sunday with all smiles and as if nothing happens because you are a healing God and we thank you for that. We also rem uh, uh, lift up to you Sister Rose Panginoon and also her entire family, the Costa family. Um, hindi po maganda ang kanilang pakiramdam. Panginoon, we pray na kayo po ang mag- uh, humipo sa kanilang sakit, Panginoon. And for tonight, Lord God, we want to hear uh, testimonies that you healed them already. Uh, Lord God, we lift up to you si Derek, Lord God, yung kanyang evaluation and admission sa nursing school. Uh, dalangin namin na maging smooth sailing ito, Panginoon. Uh, uh, we believe, Lord, na kayo po ang uh, uh, magdadirect sa kanya, magpo-provide sa kanya. At the same time, kayo din, Panginoon, ang magiging reason ba't siya magiging successful sa bagong endeavor na gusto niyang puntahan and that is nursing school. We pray Lord God uh, for Derek also to pass the behind the wheel test sa January 25, Panginoon. Uh, give him steady hands, uh, safe, Panginoon. Uh, maging safe yung kanyang driving uh, test, Panginoon. At sana makapasa siya, Panginoon. And also they are praying for a new home, Lord God. I pray that uh, we all pray that... Uh, you provide them with a new home, a new house, Panginoon. And also uh, provide them, Lord, uh, sa mga needs nila financially. And opportunities, Lord God, to work para po for their provision. We also remember uh, uh, Brother Edder and uh, Sister Angelis uh, prayer request. Uh, nandyan po yung kanilang uh, uh, upcoming wedding, Panginoon, na you, uh, you uh, designed and uh, thought of, Lord God. Before they were born, uh, we pray, Lord God, that uh, this will be a successful and a blessed wedding. That people who will witness this wedding, Lord God, will be blessed. And as well as you will provide for them. Uh, you will provide new and better paying job for them, Lord God. And uh, after their wedding, Lord God, and uh, we, uh, we pray, Lord God, that we will provide them opportunity to have better income, Lord God. Uh, we pray for health and safety. Uh, not just for everyone, but also for the family and uh, for the entire family and others' family, Lord God. Lord, we lift up to you, Ava, na ma-accept sa university na desire ng puso niya at kung saan niya siya nililid, Panginoon. We pray for good grades as she uh, ends, Lord God, yung kanyang uh, high school years, Panginoon. And a uh, healthy, uh, healthy family for them, Lord God. Uh, health for the entire family. We pray for a uh, apartment for PQ sa Los Angeles area for her not to drive every day. Uh, we pray, Lord God, for provision for her, Lord God. And uh, we pray for safety also as she uh, go to school, Lord God, and just sa LA. We lift up to you, John Marco, yung uh, finals niya for this week and continue. Complete healing, Panginoon, sa kanyang lola na nasa Pilipinas. Uh, dalangin na yung Panginoon na hipuin niyo si lola ngayon at uh, kayo po ang mag, uh, magpagaling sa kanya sa, gab sa araw na to Panginoon. We pray for Giselle sa kanyang last semester, Panginoon, na masustain niya at uh, syempre po ang kanyang post-grad. We pray, Lord God, na everything will uh, run smoothly no, hanggang sa, kan sa kanyang graduation, Panginoon. We pray for Alison, Panginoon, na she'll have a, a better semester this year and uh, she will finish strong, Panginoon, sa semester na to. We pray for uh, the NCLEX exam of Rachel, Panginoon. We claim victory and uh, she will pass with uh, flying colors, Panginoon, at uh, she will use this, Lord God, to glorify you. We pray for uh, protection for Pastor uh, Bong, Panginoon, uh, sa kanyang work, sa kanyang family, at uh, we are also praying for new business venture para kay Pastor Bong, Panginoon. Uh, ma ma dalangin din namin, Panginoon, yung mga tao na umuwi sa Pilipinas at mga pabalik dito. Dalangin namin, Panginoon, na ingatan niyo po sila, Panginoon. Uh, and uh, we also pray, Lord God, sa simbahan namin na kayo po patuloy na humawak at uh, mag-lead, mag-pastor, Panginoon. At uh, patuloy po kayo magdala ng mga kaluluwa. At uh, turuan niyo po kaming mag-alaga ng mga taong pinapadala niyo doon. Uh, if you have any prayer request or anything that the uh, Holy Spirit is telling you to pray for, now is the time for you for our popcorn prayer. You may start praying for other supplications. Anyone can start to pray. 
Amen. Lord, we just uh, continue to lift up to you our church. Uh, we thank you, God, sa pagkilis mo nitong nakaraang taon. And we continue to uh, believe, Lord, for great things to happen this 2024. We continue to pray for our pastors that you would sustain them, give them wisdom, strength, Lord, and anointing God in whatever you've called them to do this year, uh, especially as we plan to go on missions, Lord. Let your provision and we know that you're be upon them and we know that you have gone ahead of uh, whatever is going to happen this year. We also pray for more workers. God, uh, you said in your word to ask for workers, God, because the harvest is plenty, God, and the workers are few, Lord. So we ask for more workers, God, uh, in our church, uh, more volunteers, Lord, uh, in, in the different ministries, Lord. I pray, God, that uh, even the people that we have been inviting to church, Lord, we ask that they would uh, start responding, God, that they would come, and that all the empty seats, God, in Wiley Chapel will be filled, Lord. And we just pray for continuous uh, growth uh, in the spiritual uh, status of every member of our church, and we pray. We also declare your protection against any schemes of the enemy to hamper that growth, any attack of the enemy, Lord, uh, to discourage or to, to, to cause division in the church. We arrest it, Lord, and we just declare that for your love to bind us, God, and I pray, Lord, that we would be one in advancing your kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lord, we pray for the room for our teenagers uh, that uh, MCB will provide this month, Lord God. And we also pray for uh, an office for the senior pastor, Lord God. Uh, and we pray that uh, we find favor, Lord God, in your eyes and you will give it to us, Lord God, so, because uh, we have a need for this, Lord. And uh, this will uh, help our ministry more. Uh, we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, yes, we come to you, Lord, tonight. Continue to lift up, Lord. The concerns of every family, you know it all, Panginoon. Lord, we pray for your mighty provision to come upon each one. Continue to bless, Lord, uh, our children, even the means, the, the, the work. And we pray, Lord God, for safety. As you go travel for work, we pray for strength. Continued guidance, Lord. And Lord, we just pray continuously that you will uh, fill us, Lord, with your Holy Spirit, that we will continue, God, to live in accordance to your will. We pray, O oh Lord, for everyone to be filled with your Holy Spirit, that we will continue to grow each and every day, O oh God, to serve you more this year. Thank you, God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, we remember David Carrell sa kanyang uh, endeavor, Panginoon, sa kanyang journey back to uh, the east. We pray for safety, provision, Lord God, and all the desires of his heart will be uh, provided by yours, Lord God. We are thankful for his services, Lord God, sa inyo, sa simbahan, Panginoon, and may, we, uh, uh, may he join us again, Lord God. May we see him again in the future and uh, be uh, permanently part of our family. In Jesus' name, amen.
Amen. Yeah. Salamat po Panginoon sa gabing ito sa aming uh, pananalangin at nawa sa aming paghimlay Panginoon na uh, ikaw ang aming mapatuloy na maranasan at ang iyong kalakasan. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn His face towards you and give you peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 All right. Thank you, guys. It's a beautiful second night of our day, uh, daily five-day uh, prayer and fasting. Tomorrow night, we'll remind you again how to uh, pray and fast. And um, on Friday, uh, we will break our fast. So we'll have a feast. <laughs> <laughs> So we have a for our D clusters, uh, it's a different thing because we will uh, conduct our our I know uh, one hundred one membership one hundred one for those of you who are not yet officially uh, LA Fitness member or kung LA Fitness member na kayo ay uh, you can uh refresh in in your membership. Uh, please uh, let us all attend. No doon sa ating uh, day one, no? 101 membership class. So, para lahat tayo certified. We are planning kasi to give a uh, an ID for those who are official members. And uh, nakalagay doon kung official member ka or official worker mm -hmm. doon sa ID. No? Papagawa kami sa recto. kay magalala. <laughs> so, excited kami to see you on Friday and to see you on Sunday. And... Uh, yeah, uh, we miss you so much and uh, we bring something from the Philippines. Ilalagyan na lang namin sa piging area. Bahala na kayo kumuha doon. Alright? So, picture-picture uh, tayo. Okay? So, at the count of three. Sandali lang, ha? Okay. One. Okay, Tayo natin iba. Ayan, ayan. Meron pa bang lalabas? Okay, okay, okay. Okay na. Okay. One, two, three. Smile. <laughs> I like your post, Eder. Hi, <laughs> right, guys. Good evening. Babu. See you tomorrow night. Bye bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Tomorrow. Me, Pasok, Pinabokasan.